Okay, so what I'm trying to demonstrate here is not the easiest thing to try to demonstrate. Um, but let's take a look at this focus point here. So I'm clear. I'm trying to focus on the far right. I'm not focusing towards the middle. I'm not focusing towards the left. I'm focusing on the far right. Now, if you look at this zero, the 120 zero right here, we and the start of this barcode, we are in focus here. Are we perfectly in focus? Let's see. I start to play tricks on you after a while. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be in focus right there. So what we have is the zero. I'm going to slide the hard drive over, start it at the very beginning of that barcode there. There we go. We're going to use certain key points on the screen here. We're going to follow the mouse. We're going to use the zero, the beginning of the barcode, and up in the top left is the WD and in the middle is WD above the far left of the barcode and if you look at this tell me what you think is in focus I would say I'm in focus from here to about 55 maybe 60 percent of the image is in focus right about here I'd say it kind of starts to phase out okay so this is what they 0 0.5 WD165 uh, Barlow lens. I'm running the wide field 10x slash 20 eyepieces, which none of that really makes a difference when you're talking about the camera. Uh, the eyepieces don't make a difference when you're talking about the camera anyway. I can run this without the Barlow lens or with the Barlow lens. I tried all different ways, different Barlow lenses, as a matter of fact, same results either way. And basically, what I have going on here is let me back up. I don't know if I can show this to you without really screwing up what I got. This is the new 1080p camera with the fixed FMA. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to get that FMA in there, are we? Let's see. There we go. So that's the FMA050. So this is my old reduction lens. Nothing new here. So now let's take this old reduction lens off and let's put this new, what I was told by two tech engineers, that I need to run a 030 reduction lens with this particular camera because of the size of the sensor on this camera. This is the Sony IMX236 lens. So we did, we bought and spent extra money on this AMA. 037. Let me get the screw on before any dirt gets in there. There we go. So I'll give you a quick view so you know I'm running the AMA 037, which it should be 03X, honestly, because it's an adjustable, not a fixed. So 03X, the adjustable part being X, of course. And we're going to put this back into the camera and let's go back to our monitor here ah uh, you know what I totally forgot before I even change this I forgot to take an image I did let's go back here I want to take a picture and we're going to take a snapshot to show you it's live there you go take a snapshot of this alright now we're going to put the reduction lens on. Now remember, zero, beginning of the barcode, to about 60% of the images in focus. And this is the fixed FMA050 lens. Now we're going to put the 037 adjustable. I don't know if you can see that. AMA037 adjustable lens on here. Pull the gap off. There we go. And drop that into the camera. Now the object is is to get the same. Let's see if I can get focus. Oh, see, I'm gonna focus, but it's not, so that means that's more of a ring thing here. Here we go. See if we can move the hard drive slightly to get that same. 
Uh, the camera keeps turning on me. Stop turning. We want to get that same image here, of course. Um, I'm all the way zoomed out. Yeah, I am. Okay. So again, you'll notice over here, barcode, starting off at the zero. And again, up here, WD in the far left hand corner, the difference is we have a little bit more area of capture on the left side now because of the wider lens from the 050 to 037. But what good is this extra image if it's out of focus? Well, it's not for, for, for any microscope. The purpose of a microscope is to look at microscopic items, right? So therefore, no use if it's out of focus. So let's go ahead and line this barcode up so it's straight across, just like the other pictures. The focus point is should be the clearest on the right side. Let me adjust the, uh, make sure I have that adjustable lens perfectly focused in there. There we go. And now if you look at this image, let's take a picture. If you look at this image now, we're, we're clear and focus on the far right side again, which is where I'm focusing at. And we start to lose focus about the A. At about 48% of my monitor, I am now starting to lose focus. So therefore, okay, I may have another 110% image capture on the left side here, but it's all out of focus, so that does me no good. But as far as my focused area, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm focusing, pun intended, on the area that is focused because everything else is no use to me if it's out of focus. Let's take a snapshot of this before I forget. So actually, I forgot. We can actually do a comparison of images now. Did I already take a snapshot of that? That's uh, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. So this would be, on the left side, is my 050 lens reduction. Maybe I should try to turn the light down a little bit because it does... The zero 03 does seem to bring in more light. All right, so focused until about the two or three here. This is the live image on the right side. And over here, two and three are still nice and clear. I would actually say we're clear up until about the D in hard drive, the D in HARD. To be fair, the magnification wasn't exactly the same, even though it's already zoomed all the way out on, you know, on this, it's zoomed all the way out, but the magnification did change slightly. And we'll take a snapshot, and we'll go to compare again. Let's compare it to the first 050 image, which was this one. Now I'm pretty sure we can kind of agree that the, the, the focal, the magnification is about the same, the font's about the same height, the barcode's about the same height. We got a clear zero here, a clear zero here, except we got a much more clear everything else. So now we can, yeah, about as best as I'm going to do. And if we move this over to the where did that leave off at? It leaves off at the A and the K. So we'll move this over to the A and the K, like that. Move this over to the A and the K. Look at the difference between these two. Unbelievable. It really is. So 037, adjustable on the right fixed on the left, 050, same magnification, but the focus is just absolutely horrid on this, it really is.
It, I, there's not much more I can say about this. It, it's just, yeah, it was a waste of money for the for the uh, the zero three zero lens. It really was. I mean, <clears throat> most people are going to bring the center of the image in focus, of course, and by doing that, you're going to turn the ring until you get that center in focus, which in this case is going to be about right here. So now you have this center bar in focus and this one in focus, but what you have is this zero is now out of focus on the, the right. These bars are out of focus on the right. A good, I'd say a good, uh, wow, that's about good 35% is out of focus here and a good 35% out of focus here and then you have this little bit in the middle that's now in focus. So. The zero five zero definitely works a lot better, and that's my point. Don't 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 waste your money on 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 the uh, zero three seven lens from Tube Tech. It's horrible optics. I'm gonna see if we can find something else to possibly suggest for uh, before I do the full review on this camera.